This is West Los Angeles College, summer camp for high school and college students, web design basics. So we are now going to jump over to Dreamweaver and set up a site definition. So I'm going to launch Dreamweaver. And Dreamweaver is starting up. I'm going to create a new website definition for Charles Babbage. So we're going to go under Site and choose New Site. This is the most important thing you do when you get started with Dreamweaver. Make sure that you create a new website definition. Even if you don't do the server definition, you have to create a new site definition because that unleashes the power of the Dreamweaver file management tools and it keeps your website organized. If you don't do this, you will run into problems. So let's go to new site. For the name of my new site, I'm going to call it Charles Babbage. C-H-A-R-L-E-S-B-A-B-B-A-G-E. And I'm just going to save it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to my documents and I'm going to create a new folder called C-H-A-R-L-E-S-B-A-B-B-A-G-E. Select folder. Okay. So now my site is named Charles Babbage and I gave it a folder to save it in called Charles Babbage. And I'm going to hit save. And when I do that you see in under files we have an empty folder because there's no files in there. Now before we go any further, let's go back to our site manager and let's set up that FTP information. So I'm going to, and we could have done this all in one shot, I'm going to double click on Mr. Charles Babbage and I'm going to click on servers and I'm going to add a new server and this is where we put in the information that we saved. The server is the remote computer where we're going to be uploading our files for our website. So let's click on our plus button here to create a new server and under the server name I'm going to call it award space A-W-A-R-D-S-P-A-C-E because that's the name of the outfit that's going to be uh, hosting our uh, site for us. Now for the FTP address I'm going to use the URL or the web address of the site that we put up. Right here I'm going to copy this charlesbabbage.atwebpages.com. I'm going to right click and choose copy and I'm going to right click and choose paste. Now under my username I'm going to put in that FTP username that we created. As, as you recall, it was our client ID with an underscore followed by the name that we put in, in this case Charles Babbage. And I saved that in my basic text file, so let me go and copy that. I'm going to paste that in. Then finally, I need my password. So I'm going to go and copy over my password that I saved. I'm going to paste in my password. Now by default you can see that this little check mark popped into place saying do you want me to save your password? I do. I don't want to try and enter that information every time. Before we go any further let's test this information and see if we got everything right. Yes, Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully so we correctly completed all the steps we needed to enable Dreamweaver to connect to our web page. Let's say OK.